We created sounds for the Da Vinci surgical robot, you know, 500 sounds. You wouldn't even think of the fact that, you know, you're going into this operation and when it, when it goes, it means something very specific to that surgeon because he's put his foot in the right place over the proper pedal. And when he steps on it, depending on which position it's engaged in, it makes a different sound that's correlated to how hard he's pushing on it. Do they dictate what the sound should be or do you tell them what that sound should be? Mike Kanashek was, was, was the user interface designer, just phenomenal. So that his his idea was incredible. And I, so he had a very specific, you know, idea, just about every sound it had to be short, had to be distinct. It had to be no more than absolutely necessary to be I identified. And um, he told me an amazing story. And, and, you know, that he said, you know, Tom, when I went to Japan, I was booked in a beautiful hotel. And when I got to this beautiful hotel, they told me that, that they were overbooked. But in less than a minute, I was happy that they had overbooked because they had explained it so so beautifully and had made other arrangements for me. So that's what I want the Da Vinci to sound like. It's like, okay, that makes sense to me. You know, so if there's a problem, you know, it's like, it lets you know. I mean, there's a lot of sounds that are not problems and there's a lot of sounds that, that hopefully nobody ever hears, you know, that, that would tell you very specifically when something were out of alignment or, or what have you. And that, that hum sound, you know, I worked on that one for quite a while. And in the end, I used part of his voice for that sound. It, you know, it wasn't just his voice, but it was like that his, you know, that like that's actually, you know, like a little bit of Mike in there.